We need to make sure that people who have worked decades for the city of New York can afford to live here. Rallying outside City Hall, retired municipal workers paint a bleak picture about what they expect from upcoming health care changes. They argue they will end up paying more and say there's real concerns they will not be able to access the same doctors and specialists, like the place that fits the prosthetic leg for retired health and hospital rehab counselor Lee Rottenberg. So I could be in big trouble if this goes through. I, I literally won't have a leg to stand on. There's also a worry referrals may take too long, which Merritt Claude, a retired children's services worker, routinely needs for her tumor condition. So if I don't get a scan on time, if they think something's happening, then I'll die. The retirees have sued to stop the changes from happening and are getting behind a bill in the city council with some bipartisan support to force the city onto the old health care plan. Because it's a right thing to do. At a minimum, it will be the expensive thing to do, costing around $600 million more annually at a time when the city does not necessarily have the money. Henry Garrido heads DC 37, the largest municipal workforce union. The union supports the change for retirees and says the new plan is premium free, can be used anywhere that accepts Medicare, and has the same co-pays regardless of network. Plus, the new plan will be eligible for additional federal subsidies to help control cost. The union admits there is some additional paperwork around referrals to discourage unnecessary and costly ones. Garrido was not available Monday, but said this a few months ago after agreeing to a fresh contract with the city. So we're still committed to saving hundreds of millions of dollars in health care, not necessarily by charging the workers more, but by being smarter in the way we procure services, that we uh, have relationship with hospitals and providers.